Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Tuesday, December 27th. We are exactly one week away from the Iowa nominating caucuses and most voters in the state are saying they have not made up their minds on a candidate. The caucuses open the Republican nominating process. The latest polls put Ron Paul in the lead in Iowa with Mitt Romney second and Newt Gingrich third. The same polls show Rick Santorum is gaining ground. The successful move to extend the federal payroll tax cut for two months appears to be benefiting the incumbent in the race for the White House. A new Gallup poll shows President Obama's approval rating at 47 percent, while 45 percent disapprove. It's the first time his approval rating was above his disapproval rating since early July. Reports by the New York Times and the Washington Post show members of Congress are becoming wealthier, something the average American family cannot say for themselves. The surveys showed the median net worth for members of Congress jumped 15 percent between 2004 and 2010. During that same period of time, the net worth for the richest 10 percent of Americans held steady. Net worth for Americans overall fell by 8 percent. Two nominations to the Federal Reserve Board today from President Obama. He named Harvard University economics professor Jeremy Stein and former Treasury official Jerome Powell to the Fed. Stein is a Democrat, Powell is a Republican. They face confirmation by the Senate before taking seats on the seven-member Fed board. And overseas, Syrian demonstrators were in the streets by the tens of thousands today. They're rallying once again against dictator Bashar al-Assad. The focus of the demonstration was on the city of Homs. It comes as an international team of Arab League peace monitors arrived in the country. Assad's forces are accused by the United Nations of having killed up to 5,000 demonstrators in a crackdown against Arab string demonstrations that have been going on for nine months. That's your political roundup for Tuesday, December 27th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.